Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of BS Bassin. Today we're going to be doing an upgrade on the trailer of my boat. Uh, what, I, what I notice is now that I don't have a co-angler with me all the time and I'm backing the boat up, I can't see things that well, especially when it's pitch black at night. So when I'm backing down the trailer, I really, I could only see one side marker on my trailer. I'd really like if my trailer was lit up a little bit better. Uh, one of the options some people are doing is putting on reverse lights on their trailers. Uh, I like that, but I don't need to see what's straight behind the boat. I need to see what's kind of on the side of the boat. So what I opted for was two 60-inch LED tailgate lights. I think these have like 180 LEDs in them. They're double row. Uh, but they also have the reverse option on them. So I'm going to wire these in on my trailer for my turn signals, for my reverse lights, for my running lights, and my brake lights. I'm not sure if this is 100% legal, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, what this is going to do is... It's going to light up the undercarriage of my trailer very well. It's going to make me more noticeable when I'm driving on the highway or in, in the city when, you know, these people are usually the bars are closing when I'm on the road. So I want them to see me. So I'll have the turn signal on each side, but it'll be in red. And then I'll have running lights and brake lights. They'll always be a dim red. When I hit the brakes, it'll be a brighter red. And then with the turn signal, that side of the trailer will be flashing with the rear turn signal on the trailer. So really excited for that. But the last thing that this has that some of the LED lights, the standard LED lights you could put on a trailer don't have is the reverse option. So this has a fifth wire to it for the reverse uh, option. And when I go into reverse, all the red lights will turn off, white lights will turn on. And what I'm hoping to do with that is so that it illuminates around the trailer. I could see my wheels. I'll be able to see exactly where my trailer's going. I don't need to see what's quite behind it. I should be able to see that out of the truck mirror or over my shoulder. But this will show me where my wheels are going on the ground and the obstacles, etc. On top of that, when I put the vehicle in park and go to load it, if it's dark at night, I'll have that underglow as well, and it'll let me see the bunks on the trailer, load it up, and get on the water. I'm really excited about this, guys, so stay tuned. To start off, I'm going to tell you what supplies I have here and tools I'm going to use for the installation. I have the two LED uh, truck bed lights or truck tailgate lights. I have a GoPro to show you some of the stuff underneath the boat because this big camera is not going to fit under there that well. I've got shrink tube butt connectors. So these, these are butt connectors and then when you crimp them, heat it up with the heat gun which I have right here as well. And then what's going to happen is that will shrink up, should make it a watertight co uh, connection. You shouldn't have issues with this years and years down the road. The other thing is I've got a 20, I got two 20 foot uh, rolls of blue 14 gauge wire. Uh, the wire going to my truck is 14 gauge, but I noticed as I went down the trailer to the tail lights, it actually drops down to a 16 gauge wire. I'm not in, overly impressed with that, but I want to stay with the 14 the whole way because I'm running both sides off of one. Uh, only the reverse lights will be ran on that circuit. Got some zip, some short zip ties and some long zip ties. Zip ties are always good when you're doing electrical because you don't want your wires hanging all over the place. Uh, we shouldn't have that issue with this. But the other thing the long zip ties are going to be good for is once we decide where we're going to put our LED lights, what I'm going to do is when I mount it up there, before I permanently mount it, I'm going to put some zip ties up there, turn the lights on, make sure I like where they're at, and that way I know, hey, when I follow through with this install, I'm going to be happy with it. And then once I do put the mounting tape on there, they say you have to hold it up for 30 seconds solid, and then it's completely... Uh, adhered to the surface, but I'm going to put the zip ties on. It's really not going to affect the lighting on this. Uh, the only other thing that's not up here right now because I don't want to put it on my boat is uh, acetone or alcohol. Uh, what we're going to do is I already wiped down the trailer with soap and water and now what we're going to have to do is once we find out where these are mounting, we're going to wipe it down with that alcohol and make sure that we have a real clean uh, oil and grease free surface for this uh, 3M double sided tape to mount to. All right, guys, stay tuned, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to start running this wire. This is under the trailer. I already cleaned the rails up, and I want to show you there's a hole here and a hole here. Now, this isn't specific to every trailer. It's specific to mine. So my brake hose is coming out here, and there's a grommet right here. And what I ended up doing was using a screwdriver to pick that grommet out, and then I fished my fish tape all the way down the back and taped on my wire. Now I'm ready to pull the wire through, but I wanted you guys to see that grommet. That's where my wires are going to go back in. I decided my LED lights are going to end right under or right in front 
of where this hole is so my wires go real nicely right in there there's not a whole lot of wires hanging anywhere so i'm at the nose of my trailer and bear with me it's it's 110 degrees in chicago i am burning up all right i'm, I'm dripping sweat already i've got the tongue folded and in the front of the tongue you can see where all your wiring is coming out so i did pull that out so that you could see it's all there um, what i'm going to do is this tool here is called a fish tape it's an electrician's tape uh tool and all it is is a wire comes out of it and you could feed it through at something and then all the way at the other end you're gonna end up picking it up and you tape your wire to it and then you pull it back and your wires all the way through so since this is a trailer and it was kind of a pain in the butt to get through i don't have viewing where i took it out uh and, and the video i took some camera some camera photos down there so it was a bit of a pain in the butt to get it through that hole uh, in the trailer to get this pulled out but i ran it all the way down there and this is only for that reverse wire I ran it all the way down to the back of the trailer where I'm going to have my LED lights uh, hooked up. And I'm going to pull this back. I already attached the blue, the blue wire to it. We're going to pull this through and hopefully everything goes pretty smooth. So this is just going to pull all that wire right back to me. Not a big deal. Should be pretty simple. Uh, it works kind of like a fishing reel, guys. You spin it and it brings the line in. This is metal line. I'm going to pull, keep pulling this through. Be careful with it you know if that snags up on something you could pull your wire off to the end of it my wire got snagged up back in the back by where that hole is so I'm gonna go back there and retrieve it um, you guys get the point okay guys so I hope it's good for you to see here I know it's not the closest view but I have my blue wire coming out here and that's where my LED light's going to end and come forward. So, I've got my alcohol. I'm going to start cleaning the trailer in that position. Hope you can see what I'm doing here is I'm taking a zip tie through the frame over it, not through it. I'm taking a zip tie over the frame and I'm leaving it a little loose so that I can get my my LED light into it and I'll be able to position my LED light and then I'll, I'll get these zip ties tight once I peel the backing off of it to get it adhered into place. This is just so that the light itself does not fall while I'm working on it. Okay, what I'm trying to show you guys here is I've got my hose coming out and I've got my LED light going down and I have zip ties over the frame rail. You can see one right there. That's allowing it to stay in place. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel back the adhesive and attach it to the trailer and then I'm going to tighten up these zip ties as I go down so that it will it'll hold the adhesive to the trailer while it cures. I'm going to set this right at the front of that grommet and then flush with the bottom of the frame rail. I'm going to push it on. I'm going to get my zip tie close to the end of it. Tighten that up. Now I'm going to go down, and as I go down, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm peeling the backing on the tape, pressing the LED against the frame rail, and as I go down, like this one I didn't have a zip tie on, I'm going to attach a zip tie here just to help hold it in place.
I'm putting my zip ties towards the bottom so that they're not noticeable from the outside of the trailer or at least not as noticeable from the outside of the trailer. I'm going to feed this back, tape backing through the zip tie and then continue to work down the trailer. And press that against the trailer. Now tighten my zip tie. I'm going to continue this down and I could add more zip ties at the end if I have to just in case I feel it supports it more. With the adhesive on there it really shouldn't be needed but I feel like if you're not going to see the zip ties anyway I may as well have them there to support the light in case that adhesive does fail but I'm feeling it right now it, it feels really nice and secure. Okay guys so now you can see this is mounted nice and snug. The adhesive backing's off and I've got plenty of zip ties holding it in place so that when I take the zip ties off that adhesive will be nice and cured to the frame. All I did before I'm gonna feed these wires through the trailer to the back tail light is I clipped the plug off of it. The red wire itself is a reverse wire and it was not attached to the plug but all the other wires were attached to the plug. These are going to run back to the back by the tail light and then that way all my connections are something that I can easily work on if I get corrosion on them or say I have to replace a connector, it shouldn't be the end of the world. Or if I ever have these LEDs go out on me, I should be able to easily disconnect them in the back and then put the new wires through the trailer and run them to the back opposed to having to run a fish tape down the entire trailer again. This is where the wires come out of the back of the trailer and where our, our original tail light connector is. So I'm gonna open this one up just to give me some room to work here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to divide these wires back because I don't want to make my connections right up at the front. So I'm going to pull them back pretty far. And the other thing is I'm not going to clip them all at the same length. And what that's going to allow me to do is push this back into the grommet with my connectors one at a time opposed to all of them at the same time. The only other option I would have there is for all of my wires to hang out which I'm okay with them being pushed back into the trailer because when I go I could always pull the slack out of this opposed to pushing it in when I'm done. So for now what we'll do is we're going to clip this connector off at several different dimensions and we just want to see how much wire we need here. So I'm going to say my connections are going to be this far the, the closest. Okay so that connector's off. Not worried about that yet. What we're gonna do is now connect two wires. So our red light, red wire goes to our blue wire. So let's forget about these. This is that reverse circuit that I was talking about earlier and I still need to do something else with that. So I'm just gonna tuck that away. Our white goes to our white. Our yellow will go to our yellow. And then the brown will go to brown. But what I'm also gonna do, and I have to test this, is if I put my green to the yellow, which is my turn signal, wire will I still get the entire light strip to flash opposed to just half of the light strip flashing because these are designed for a, tr a truck tailgate where only the left side would flash or only the right side would flash so I'm hoping that this is the trick to get the entire side flashing that way vehicles on on my side will also see that I am turning all right guys so I'm going to do a quick uh test here I have a tool that allows me to test the lights without uh, having it hooked up to the truck, but here I'm going to give it a quick test. So this is running lights, brake lights, and if this is flashing, this will be our turn, turn signals as well. And then here's reverse. There you go. There's reverse. So that should give me plenty of light. Once everything's connected, double check that all your lights work. If you can test it, hook it up to your truck if you don't have a tester. And then what you're gonna wanna do is heat these and that will shrink down and make these nice and watertight.
If you want, you could double check your connections now, but I didn't move anything around, so I really don't have to. I'm gonna put a little electric tape so we're not pulling on all these wires when we're pushing them back, and so they all stick together. And then I'm gonna push it all back into the grommet that it came out of. I already verified everything works, we're done. Now all we have to do is go to the other side and repeat the same procedure. All right, a couple more steps and this is gonna be done. What I'm doing, instead of running a blue wire down the entire other side of the trailer, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through the grommet here and it's gonna go run through this cross brace in the back, the same place where your running lights for your, your center light are. I'm gonna run it all the way across there and that way I'm only gonna use like six or eight feet of wire opposed to running another 20 feet of wire from the front of the trailer all the way back to the back. And I'm also only gonna have one connection up front opposed to having multiple connections in the front where the tongue swings and bends. I feel this may be a little bit safer and it may cause a little bit less issues in the future. So what I did was I ran my fish tape again, the same tool I used from the front, through here and I'm already hitting the other side. So now I'm gonna go on the other side and try to find the same exact, the same, find the end of the fish tape. All right, so to get this fish tape through both sides, what I ended up having to do was take the section of the rear fender that goes here down. It's pretty much a step. It has the tail light in it and the side marker in it because there's two holes, one in this uh, frame tube and then one in the cross member frame tube to get from the other side to this side. It was easy on the other side because I was pushing through, but this side was more difficult. So I took the grommet out, dropped this section of the fender, and I put pliers through there to grab the fish tape and pull it through. Now I'm just gonna attach my blue wire to this and pull it back through the other side and that'll allow me to have uh, reverse power to both sides of my trailer with only using an extra six or seven feet of wire. And then I will pull the LED cables through this same grommet and I'll do it before I put the fender up just to make it a little bit easier. And then I'll be able to hook the second LED light up to all of my wiring right here. All right guys, so the last step here is going to be connecting our blue wire from our trailer harness with our reverse solenoid and the wire that we ran from the back of the trailer. So to do this, there's actually a little zip tie up in the top there that I'm gonna have to clip. And what I'm gonna do is splice into the wire that goes to my backup solenoid. So the zip tie should be clipped now. All right, so here we go. Here is the reverse solenoid wiring. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna leave that tied up pretty tight. Cause I'm gonna have to replace this zip tie here which that's no biggie. I'm gonna run our new wire to that location. I'm just following the trailer harness from the other side. I'll pull some of the slack out, not all of it. I wanna leave some slack in there so that when we extend and fold the, the tongue, it's not gonna be an issue. So this should be pretty good. I'm just gonna cut this do this I'm gonna cut this off I'm gonna put a new terminal here but we're gonna be connecting both of our wires so we'll just strip this real quick when I attach two wires like this what I like to do is split it in half or even in thirds let's move a couple barbs over from each one and what I'll do same thing here split that a little bit Split this one a little bit. So now we have like three different lines. And what I do is I'll take one, twist it just a little bit, like two turns. Then take the next one, same thing. Bring that third one through the middle, both sides, and then spin them together. And what I find with this is I usually don't lose a connection because I've got that intertwined pretty well. Put that there, and I take a piece of shrink tube, put it down it before I put the connector on. I take my connector, slide it on, spin it a little bit, make sure I'm down there. I've got the wiring is through the tip of the connector. 
crimp it. And then I come back here and close it. Nice and tight. Nothing's going anywhere. I'm going to put this shrink tube up just a little bit before the end. Then I'll take my heat gun. I can reach it. Last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little dielectric grease in that fitting before we make the connection. So take some dielectric grease here, put it all over this fitting here, and then I could actually get it into that rubber grommet a little bit there, make our connection. That friggin' wire is still hot. All right. Connection's good. Now what we'll do is we'll re-zip tie this up. Everything will be nice, out of place, and we're good to go. Pull this zip tie towards the front. Once we got that, that all the wiring in it, we'll be able to start the zip tie and then finalize it. So there we go. I'm gonna make sure we got all that wiring in there. Pulled up nice and tight. And that's it, boys. We're gonna clip that. I'm not worried about this zip tie being cut super short. As long as it's short enough that it's not sticking out of my trailer. These side cutters suck. There we go. So that's it. I mean, our, our trailer, everything else is zip tied up. This is good. I could maybe do one more zip tie here for this wire, just so it stays a little bit more in place. But that's the way it was done from the factory. So I'm okay with that. Okay guys, so it's dark enough out now that I can give you an overview of what the trailer looks like from underneath. I just wanna show you what everything looks like. Here's the reverse lights. It's going to be turn signal on one side. It's going to be turn signal on the other side. Let me get my connector in there. And then this will be running lights. So if you can tell, the running lights are a little bit dimmer than the turn lights. Those are turn lights and running lights. So a little bit dimmer and brighter from running lights to turn lights. Just want you guys to see that and then obviously the, the turning lights will be flashing. And here again is the reverse lights. I'm going to give you one more angle of this so you can see what's outside of the trailer and what I'll see out of my rear view mirror.